Hello, I'm Mel Shin Moon, YouTube Anchor Beast. This special broadcasting is made to inform Daegu's crisis of coming process all over the world. Pure English version is first trial. Even if there is a lag, please understand widely. This year in February and March, Daegu is a notorious city after Chinese Wuhan be called spread head of coronavirus. Hundreds of confirmers were born every day. Daegu local governments and citizens are in panic. Kwon Young-jin, Daegu mayor, proclaimed emergency and operate citywide prevention system. Medical steps from nationwide dedicated for two or three months. Daegu citizens followed our local government strictly. All citizens have a habit of wearing a mask. Corona test drive through method was first born in Daegu. Now Daegu is calm and regaining every day. In the street, we can see the placard, Daegu citizens are the vaccine. Now I'm tracking Daegu's crisis of coming process in the last couple of months. At first, beast reports are in Daegu International School. Let's go! Yeah! I'm beast report. I'm in the Daegu International School. Now I'll meet uh, Christopher Murphy, principal, and uh, two, uh, two teachers in here. And then the, I will ask them some question about Corona-19. Let's go! Hey, nice to meet you. Hello, nice to yeah. meet you, sir. Principal Murphy. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm TV Mail Moon. Yes. Anchor Beast. The Beast. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will uh, question you uh, about the COVID-19. Okay, yeah. sure. The first question. Uh, what do you think when the Corona-19 uh, spread of Daegu? Uh, an, at an enormous speed. You know, mm. you have to think about uh, your health and safety. Yeah. But um, after my initial reaction there, yeah. um, it was just more concern about the school. Yeah. You know, obviously mm. worrying about the students, um, mm -hmm. the teachers, the staff, and everyone yeah. here at DIS. Mm. So um, it was great though, in terms of communication with yeah. my nurse, uh -huh, who was yeah. very, uh, stayed very updated yeah. on COVID um. every, couple hours she would yeah. say oh there's new case new case new case yeah so by the end of the day <laughs> yeah <laughs> there were so many cases and we said yeah. we need oh. to make a decision and yeah. make sure where everybody stays safe yeah. at DIS so yeah it was mm. initial response was kind of worried about you know yeah. yourself and your yeah. health and then obviously it went right to the school and, yeah. and what we do to take care of everyone mm. here now it is safer yes yes yeah. yes yes Okay, second question, yeah. Please share your short about uh, Daegu's uh, prevention system and the Daegu citizens' self-control and the sense of public order. Sure. Yeah. Um, I think initially uh, the response was great. Just the amount of media coverage, yeah. um, the contact tracing, I thought mm. was incredible. Um, yeah. I have uh, an app on my phone, mm -hmm. um, the Emergency Ready app that actually converts the emergency signals into English. Yeah. So I was getting mm. them all the time. Yeah. So you could check in English and say, oh, have I been here? Have I been here? And, mm -hmm. and making sure that you stay safe. The recommendations about wearing the masks and distancing mm -hmm. and yeah. everything. Korea really handled the situation well. And mm -hmm. obviously Daegu was a big part of that. Yeah. Since Daegu was an epicenter yeah. for the virus. Oh, yeah. uh, and then, you know, coming up with the drive through testing. Yeah. Uh, mm. Closing certain public spaces. Yeah. Just they... Uh, Honestly, the response was mm. was incredible, in my yeah. opinion. I thought Daegu did a wonderful job of keeping mm. everybody informed yeah. and keeping them safe. Now, did everybody follow the rules all the time? Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you go around, <laughs> but if you didn't have a mask on, yeah. you would get that look at, somebody would look at you like, Oh. Like, why aren't you wearing a mask? So you then next time you make sure you, you wear uh -huh. your mask. You know? uh -huh. But for the most part, I think everybody did a really nice yeah. job of following the mm. orders from the government. Yeah. And, um, and obviously we saw the numbers go mm. down yeah. and they're still going down, which is great. Uh, yeah. So the last question. Sure. Uh, how did the Daegu International Schools handle the typical situation in the COVID-19? I'll try to keep this sh as short as I can. Um, yeah. But I mean, we, we started tracing um, the virus back in over Lunar New Year break. So in yeah. January, yeah. I was actually in, on vacation in Singapore yeah. on the phone with mm. our school nurse and our office manager mm. um, writing a letter yeah. just to let parents know that we were aware of the situation. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then from there, we started temperature checking students yeah. and teachers every morning. Yeah. We had hand sanitizer stations around the school. Yeah. Um, we didn't make masks mandatory at that point because yeah. Daegu wasn't 
that bad yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and then by the time, you know, February uh, 18th or 19th, whatever it was that we had to close school, those cases spiked that day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. that afternoon, I just decided it was best mm -hmm. to close school. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And from February 20th yeah. until now, school has oh. still been closed. Oh, yeah. So it was um, team effort mm -hmm. in order to decide to close school because that's never an easy decision. Yeah. Some people were not happy with the decision. Yeah. But uh, in the long run, it was definitely mm. the right choice. Oh, yeah. And um, I just give credit to the entire DIS community, the mm. parents, the students, the teachers, the staff, mm. the administrators, um, to create an online learning plan yeah, yeah. in four days yeah, yeah. and have it active in four oh, days. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for the interview. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah it was fun. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Nice yeah. to meet yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first question to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When the COVID-19 the cases happened, was it hard to stay at home? At first, yeah. it was not so hard to be at home. Yeah. Um, I felt more nervous um, yeah. just because of everything oh. going on and everything feeling uncertain. Mm -hmm. um, and then as time went on, living mm -hmm. by yourself can yeah. be very hard um, yeah. and staying home all the time. So I think oh. that that was a little bit difficult to adjust to um, yeah. and just a new way of life. But mm -hmm. after a little while, it got easier. What usually do to at home, um, yeah. working kept yeah. me very busy at teaching, yeah. so uh, lots of preparing for yeah. online school. Uh -huh. And then uh, when I wasn't preparing for yeah. school, I would do a lot of reading yeah. uh, and cooking. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, usually it's like, uh, COVID-19 is the pet. Is uh, in home, mm -hmm. eat and eat. I think oh. a lot of people <laughs> felt that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's Korean word is the. 확진자 is the uh. more pet. Uh. <laughs> it's the same word. It's comic. <laughs> Second question to you is the uh, Daegu's K prevention system was allowed around the world. What do you think? Um, I yeah. think it, it was handled really well from yeah. not speaking Korean. I just got here in mm. August. So yeah. just get used to the first half of the year and then yeah. came back from Christmas break and it yeah. kind of happened. Oh. Um, and I think. Uh, the nurse at our school did a really good job of yeah. giving us constant updates in English so we knew mm -hmm. um, what was happening and um, even the take the masks for example mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. them having days for people to go so yeah. it was it was fair and I think hand sanitizer and, and, and every elevator yeah. all of the, the different things they did it made mm -hmm. us feel safe um, yeah. handled very well so. okay now the third <laughs> question is a uh, what is the your current state of United States? Yes, uh, what do you wish uh, they could do better? I'm from Pennsylvania in yeah. the United States and I think one of the hardest things about mm. how things are in America right now is that every state is different yeah. and right now all of uh, the businesses in Pennsylvania are able to be open mm. now um, mm. even though there are still so many cases mm. and I think it's very hard that you have some like regulations and restrictions in one place but in another part of the state it's completely different or yeah. in another part of the united states it's different yeah. so i guess my wish is that if everyone could follow the same thing yeah. that it would make it better for my family and mm. everyone in the oh. u.s to be healthy and safe yeah. so i think everyone um mm. Just needs to be more on the same page. Your hometown is Pennsylvania. Mm, the state, yeah, mm -hmm. near New York. How about the situations? Right now, uh, there's still a lot of uh, COVID cases. Yeah. Um, but now people are wearing masks to go places, yeah. so that makes things better. Mm. Um, and they just started having testing readily available for anyone, so yeah. I think that will also help quite a bit. Yeah. Um, so I'm feeling more hopeful now. Yeah. Okay, so poor question. Uh, were there any difficulties uh, in the online classes? For our school, we were in session, so yeah. um, we had to turn it around and over the weekend kind yeah. of hop online. I think mm. we're blessed compared to many people around the world that our, our students mm. were one-to-one, -one, so they have, everyone mm. has a device. Yeah. And so we didn't run into that issue of worrying about our students having access to mm -hmm. the internet. Um, I think looking back now, mm. maybe at first we, were, we thought we were gonna come back right mm. away, so trying to 
run school mm -hmm. maybe like normal, but then after time realizing it's, yeah. it's not the same online. Oh. It, I think one of the biggest difficulties in terms of teaching when you want students to collaborate and work together is normally when you're together in person, if you say, okay, you get into a group and, yeah. and work together, um, if a student has a problem, even if they're still using their computer, mm. their classmate right. can help them by just mm. pointing, oh, go here or do this. Mm -hmm. And online, it's a little bit harder because you're all yeah, uh, yeah. in one in one big video and, wow. and trying to explain it or chatting and, and, yeah. and emailing students. So you I think, hope to see you soon. The yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you for interview. Thank you, yeah, thank you yeah, so yeah, much. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> nice to talk with you. <laughs> thank you for your trouble, Beast Report. We heard it well. Now, another hip hop beast are in Gaming University. Come out, hip hop beast. Hey, yo! I'm Report Beast. This is Gaming University. I meet uh, so two foreigner students. One is Bulgarian, the other is uh, Hungarian. I will ask them about uh, the Corona 19 and I will listen to their sayings. Let's go to meet them. Go! Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Judith from Hungary. I'm yeah. doing my uh, PhD here. Yeah. And I'm in Korean age. I'm 28 years old. And how about uh, the Corona virus in your country? I think uh, it's not uh, as bad as yeah. it was in Korea. Yeah. Uh, Nobody is getting better, but mm -hmm. uh, they don't really uh, medical yeah. examine. So. Mm -hmm. Maybe there are more patients than yeah. we know about. Yeah. I think East Europe is not uh, as serious yeah. as uh, West Europe. Oh. Western Europe. That was more safe than your country? Yeah, I think so. And uh, introduce yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. My name yeah. is Kalin. I'm yeah. from Bulgaria and yeah. I'm 25 years old and I'm currently uh, enrolled in the Language Institute of Kemyong Teakyo. The situation in Bulgaria is actually, uh, yeah. was very similar to Korea. Yeah. At a certain point, we had about the same amount of active mm. cases. Right now, we have, our total number of cases in Bulgaria are around 3,200. Yeah and about 1,300 left uh, active cases. Uh, and the, the, when the coronavirus is spread in Daegu, you are shocked and afraid? When it started, yeah. I was in Hungary. Yeah. So I was afraid if I could come back at all. Uh, but right when I came back, yeah. it started to get really serious in Hungary. And yeah. it started to get better here. Uh -huh. So in the end, I guess it was better for me to come yeah. back. And I think the Korean go government did a good job. Now the, you, you concerned your family in, the, in Hungary? Yeah, that's yeah. true. First, my yeah. family was more concerned about me when yeah. I came back. But now it's me that it's me who is worried about them. Mm. What usually do, doing there? And the, you are not boring at home? <laughs> it is a little yeah. bit boring. <laughs> yeah. How about the Tegu, Tegu citizens that uh, uh, self-control and the uh, public order? Actually, uh, yeah. yeah, that's something I've talked a lot about uh, my f from my friends back home in Bulgaria. Yeah. Because in Bulgaria, like you did said, in Hungary, yeah. as soon as the si corona situation began, they implemented very, very serious measures. Like people can't go out. People mm -hmm. above 60 years old can only go out in, from, 10, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Yeah. And after that, it's forbidden for them. If you are in a park without a mask, you have to pay around two, uh, 2,500 euro, yeah. which is a lot of money. Oh. Uh, and my friends always, always ask me like, oh, how did you deal with lockdown, with uh, quarantine and everything? How? And I told them like, in Korea, they never forbid us of going, from going outside. Yeah. So we were able to have somewhat a normal life. Putting mask is the, is the uh, is cultural difference uh, is in Korea? Yes, yes. I would yeah. say so. Because yeah. in, but uh, the cultural difference comes from, so people, from my experience, people yeah. in Korea mainly wear masks because of uh, the air pollution from Isemonti. Yeah. And from oh. that, people, people, uh, Korean people got, got the habit of wearing a mask every yeah. single day. While in our yeah. countries, people rarely wear a mask even when they're sick. Yeah. So right now ah. it's very difficult for them to put it on every single day, yeah. even though they're not sick. Uh -huh. yeah. But it's a necessary thing. Yeah, actually, if yeah. In, in Europe someone wears a mask, they will yeah. think that they are seriously sick mm. and why the hell are they out if yeah. they are sick? So yeah, it has a bit mm. bad image. Coronavirus is more serious, contagious. So I think it's the American and the Europeans that putting masks in part of Korea. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for joining in our TV Mail the interview. 
Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Now we will meet Min Bok Ki, Vice Chairman of Daegu City Medical Association. Let's listen to what he is talking about Daegu's upcoming Corona crisis. Hello, I am Bok Ki Min, the Vice President of Daegu Medical Association. On last February 18, the first COVID-19 confirmed patient was established in Daegu. So far, the most important in Daegu was the voluntary social distance and the use of the mask of Daegu Gyeongbuk citizens. First, it is regarded as the biggest success factor of the quarantine by keeping the basic living standard of the city resident. The second, it is the result of the many medical team and medical institutions working together, which is centered on the MediCity Daegu Council. This seems to have become a global best case. In the third, active quarantine was implemented from the beginning and new methods of the inspection such as moving checkup and driving through were implemented. Daegu keeps distance in the life and if you have a symptom, you should be tested immediately. This can keep Daegu more safer. I think that we needed to coexist together with COVID-19 in the future, but we should keep healthy. Thank you again for the city residents of the Daegu Gyeongbuk. I think our citizenship is the biggest power which has protected Daegu. Daegu citizen is the strongest vaccine. Thank you.